In this video, I'm gonna explain how the append node works and how we can use it in our materials. So let's do it. I've created a master material with all the functions necessary for your projects. You can download it for free on my website. Link in the description below. Right click in the material and search for append. Four results will pop up, but there are actually two nodes. The ones under math and vector ops are the same as the ones under miscellaneous and VFX. Let's first go over this one. Append vector enables us to combine channels together to create a vector with more channels than the original. It has two inputs and one output and it doesn't have any parameters in the details tab. The A input is the value we want to append another value to and the B input is the value that is appended. For example, we can append two individual constant values. The result will be a constant 2 vector. Now if I append it with another constant, the result will be a constant 3 vector. We can use it as a color the same way we use a constant 3 vector node. The first one will be the R channel, the second one will be the G channel, and the third constant will be the B channel. So if I connect it here to the main node, I can change these values to get different colors. Maybe we have a constant 2 vector, but we need to connect it to a node that needs a constant 3 vector. We'll see that a lot in future videos when I want to create more complex materials. We can append it with a constant to get a constant 3 vector and use it. We can also use it to reorder the channels within a single texture. So let's add this mass texture from the starter content and delete these nodes. As you can see, it has different outputs for each individual channel. The texture is made up of these different channels. Maybe I want to use the G channel as the R channel and the R channel as the G channel. That's easy to do. We should first append the G channel with the R channel, then append the result with the B channel. Now the R and G channels are exchanged. That's why the order of the inputs is important. The first input becomes the R channel, the second input becomes the G channel, and the third input becomes the B channel. Before moving on to the next section, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, Join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. The links are in the description below. The append many node allows us to quickly append up to 4 scalars. It's a function, so if I double click on it, it opens. We can see that it is a series of inputs that append together to form 3 different outputs. The first 2 inputs form the RG output which is a constant 2 vector. Then they append with the third input and form the RGB output. It is a constant 3 vector. After that they append with the fourth input to form the RGBA output which is a constant 4 vector. The texture sample node also has the RGB and the RGBA outputs. I can promote each input to a parameter. and use any of the outputs I need. Or in the case of this texture, I can connect the G output to the R input, the R output to the G input, and the B output to the B input. The channels will be reordered. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new tutorials I'm planning to put here. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now with all of that being said, I'll see you in the next one.